Hello, welcome to Parsi Cuisine. Today we have garlic and eggs. Here is my home grown garlic. What I do is I put in little garlic cloves just right from the clove of garlic, put it in root side down and in about 15 days just water it, keep it in a sunny place and it will sprout up like this. And then to make garlic and eggs, I usually chop off so much. I'm gonna make from four eggs. So I'll chop off four stalks and see this nice fresh garlic. If you smell it, it's really garlicky. This is not onion cloves. This is garlic. And the other thing is, let me show you. This is one garlic clove. So to grow it, you want to put it root side down inside the soil. So every time you uh, take off some garlic, I'll press this into the soil. Press it so that the little stalk shows and then you put water over it and it will start growing beautifully. So that's the trick to growing garlic indoors. There. Uh, this is, I just chopped off some. I put one clove to replace the chopped off. And now I'm gonna, this is so good because from the home garlic, you don't even want to uh, worry about washing it or anything. So I'm gonna chop this into little pieces. I'll show you how I do that. Make a little bundle. And I usually use a scissor to make little pieces of the garlic. Huh? So you want to keep everything ready for making garlic and eggs. This is green garlic grown at home and we love eggs. I love to have Parsi Lassan par idu, as we call it. It's a Indian dish and garlic comes up in the winter very good. The winter garlic is very good for your health. Very nice and powerful for lowering your cholesterol. So I have the garlic chopped up. I'm going to beat up four eggs. Okay. You want to keep the eggs beaten up in advance. And we are going to make this eggs soft, creamy, almost like, uh, I would say like a custard. So it's very, many people don't know how to do this. So the one of the tips about doing it is to beat them up nicely till the yolk and the whites are all soft and just start the process. Even the beating starts cooking the egg. You want to cook this at a very low heat. So see, like you want to cook that. And then you add a little butter. This is four eggs. So I'm adding about one ounce of the butter into the egg and beat it up. Then you add your garlic. There. And so these are soft, creamy, garlicky eggs. And now at this point you can add garlic powder, but my garlic is so nice and aromatic. I don't need that garlic powder. You can add other flavors, but I like to just eat the flavor of the garlic. So I've got it beaten up. Now I'm going to start my stove. And I'm going to melt the butter. 
I'm also going to take a little bit of oil to heat it up with the butter. That makes the oil makes the garlic eggs more creamy and silky. So here we have silky garlic eggs coming up and keep beating the eggs. So you want your butter and oil to nicely melt. These are Parsi Lilu Lasan Ida. Lilu Lasan means green garlic. Ida means eggs. So this is a Gujarati way of talking and but if uh, you want to make garlic eggs I'm in US, I'm coming to you from Boston and we enjoyed the dish many, many times. So my butter and oil is heated up. I'm going to pour the eggs in there and then the whole other trick is to keep cooking. Now I'm going to lower the stove because you can see the whites already cooking. I don't want that. I'm going to lower the stove. This is the low heat and keep stirring. Keep stirring. You'll see the eggs forming and cooking. I do not like to overcook the garlic eggs. My point of preference is um, I want them to be runny but I want them to cook nicely. So adding the salt does help slow the process of eggs overcooking. So this is the consistency I like in my house. You can cook it a little more, but I'm going to shut my stove off and I'm going to plate it. So there you go. Again, take it out in the plate as soon as you can because then the eggs will stop cooking so much. Enjoy it with some bread, toast on the side and bon appetit. Do visit my website parsicuisine.com for the recipe and drop us some comments, like and share. Thank you so much for attending this session.